A blue wave rolled through much of the Okanagan and Thompson Monday night. Four of the five ridings went conservative. Tracy Gray recaptured the seat in Kelowna Lake Country from incumbent Liberal Stephen Fuhr by more than 8,000 votes. I'm just really happy, you know, to be here and I'm happy to have earned the, the support and earned the confidence of the people here. I want to thank the community. I had a lot of support here and, um, and they were, I mean, energizing for me and uh, it was very, very gratifying to deliver some of the big projects this community needed. In the North Okanagan shoe swap, Mel Arnold won his second re-election. In Kamloops, it was Kathy McLeod winning a seat for the third time for the Conservatives. While in Central Okanagan, Samil Kameen Nicola, Dan Albus easily won his third term for the Conservatives. I got in politics to make a difference, but I also always challenged myself to say, you know, can I do this, a good job at this? And, and so every time I'm given a new task or I'm given a new assignment, like going from, you know, the deputy finance critic to shadow minister for innovation, science, economic development, um, I always try and personally challenge myself to see what I can do more, mm -hmm. while at the same time remembering who got me there and that's serving the people of Central Okanagan, Smilkami Nicola. I'm so proud of the effort that we've put in. I know that I've knocked on 10,000 doors myself throughout the riding. The only riding to go non-conservative was in the South Okanagan. Richard Canning's holding that for the NDP. All that's left to be determined now is whether the Liberals and the NDP will form a coalition in this Liberal minority government. For Castanet News, I'm Wayne Moore.